Hello everyone. This is our first video in the series of video tutorial for Linux shell scripting. To understand shell scripting, we need to understand what is Linux shell. Shell is a user program or it's an environment provided for user interaction. It is a command language interpreter that executes command read from standard input device that is a keyboard or from a file. Now let us understand what is shell script. It is a series of command written in plain text file. It is just like batch file in MS-DOS but has more power. Let us write our first shell script. We write our shell script by using VI editor. We write VI, then the name of our script. We enter, we enter into insert mode by pressing I. First line is a command. Then we write a command that is an echo command. We want to print. knowledge is power on our command prompt. We save our shell script by going into escape mode again that is by pressing escape and then colon and then wq and we run script by typing dot slash and the name of the script. We can see the result. There are two types of variables in Unix. System variables are those variables that are created and maintained by Linux itself. These type of variables are defined in capital letters. For example, there is a variable named username. It prints the name of the user or if you want to print the path of our home directory we type echo dollar home we can see the path next type of variable are user defined variable these are the variable that are created and maintained by user these type of variable are defined in lower letters Let us define a user variable or UDV. We define a UDV by typing name of the variable, then equal sign, and then the value of the variable. Now, to display the value of NO, no, we type echo, then dollar, and then name of the variable. While defining UDV, we need to make sure we don't put spaces on either side of equal sign. For example, if we define a UDV num, then space, equal sign, and then value as 11, we have an error that is command not found. If we remove the space from left hand side of equal sign and then we again press enter, we again get the error. So right way to do is to remove the spaces from both the side of equal sign. Now we have defined num with value 11. We can print the value of num like this. We have earlier used echo command. Now let us discuss echo command. Echo command is used to display text or value of variable on screen. If we type echo with something in double quotes, whatever we have given in double quote, it get display on the screen. 
we use echo with option E to enable the interpretation of backslash escape characters. For example, if we type within double quotes we can see that we have used some escape characters within our string. So we can see the result. If we want to perform arithmetics in shell, we have a command for that. We use expr to evaluate some arithmetical expression. For example, if we give expr with 1 plus 3, result is 4. And if we give expr with 20 modulus 4, result is 0 because the remainder is 0 when we divide 20 by 4. And if in case we want to print expr with some arithmetics like 6 plus 3 we use back quotes. Back quotes are a symbol which we have below tilde on keyboard. It is basically used to execute a command under another command. For example, we use back quotes under these kind of circumstances. Let us discuss read statement. Read statement is used to get input or data from keyboard and store that data to a variable. The syntax is read command then as many variable as we want etc. So let us create a script to, to explain read statement. First line is a comment. We ask first name from user and next line we print that name. Let us run this script. <laughs> 